for uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. You see, gold has been an unstoppable run lately. Gold is a biblical currency. It has gone up now more than 81% in the last five years, almost 20% in the last year. It is happening, guys. Central banks are ditching the dollar and the U.S. treasuries, and they're buying more gold. The good news is it is predicted to go up even more because of this, this shift. The UBS even said it would go up to $5,000 an ounce. Noble Gold Investments. Their phone has been ringing nonstop. Everyone wants to protect their retirement with gold. And you can do the same. Matter of fact, if you go to www.pastorpaulgold.com or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347, um, Noble Gold Investments can help you secure some gold to protect your future. From every day, you ever, think about it, every day you've ever worked, from day one, you work with the same dedicated, all-American uh, expert, no doubt about it. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced investor, Noble Gold Investment will make sure you get all the help you need. And they're giving away this, one quarter of an ounce. This is a pure gold coin, gold standard coin. It's one quarter of an ounce, worth over $700 at this moment. They'll give this to you for free. Simply get a hold of them. Go to PastorPaulGold.com. Or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. The United States is expected to lift its ban on the sale of offensive weapons to Saudi Arabia in the coming weeks. This is according to a report by the Financial Times. Washington has indicated its readiness to lift the ban, as per a source familiar with the matter. President Biden had imposed the ban shortly after taking office back in 2021 due to Saudi Arabia's human rights record and its military campaign in Yemen, which caused significant civilian casualties. Saudi Arabia, the largest U.S. arms customer, has been affected by these restrictions, Reuters has reported. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken mentioned that the United States and Saudi Arabia are close to finalizing agreements on nuclear energy, security, and defense cooperation, part of a broader deal that also involves Israel. However, the lifting of the weapons ban is not directly tied to these agreements. The White House and Saudi Arabia have not yet commented on the matter. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meaning of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. A man has been arrested for stabbing four girls at an AMC movie theater in Braintree, Massachusetts on Saturday evening. The suspect, who entered the theater without a ticket, attacked the girls, aged between 9 and 17 years old, who were then hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. Witnesses described the attacker as wearing an oversized trench coat, sunglasses, and a long blonde wig. Authorities linked the suspect to another stabbing incident that occurred around 7 p.m. the same evening at a McDonald's in Plymouth, Massachusetts, where a 21-year-old woman and a 29-year-old man were both injured. After a car chase, ending in a crash and sandwich, the suspect was apprehended and taken to a hospital, CBS News has reported. The suspect is also believed to be connected to a murder investigation in Deep River, Connecticut, where police had issued an alert for an armed and dangerous individual earlier that day. His name and the charges against him have not yet been released.
Over Memorial Day weekend, gun violence in the city of Chicago resulted in at least 29 people being shot, five of whom were fatally injured. This is according to the police. Among the victims was five-year-old Danae W. Razor, who was shot and killed while sitting in a parked vehicle on the city's west side early Sunday morning. Another shooting occurred minutes earlier in the same area, where a 28-year-old man was fatally shot and two women were injured, but they are expected to recover. On Sunday night, three people were critically injured in a shooting on the South Side's Roseland neighborhood. And additionally, two men were shot dead late Friday evening on the Northwest Side in Albany Park with no arrest made, ABC7 Chicago News reported. Around the same time, three men were injured in a shooting on the south side in Inglewood, all of whom survived. Police are investigating all incidents, and no arrests have been made. The previous weekend saw 45 people shot, with one fatality. Last year's Memorial Day weekend in Chicago recorded 53 shootings and 11 deaths.